Greetings from Abuja, Nigeria, to the more than 3,000 registered participants for the UN 75 Global Governance Forum. I'm extremely delighted to share this brief statement of appreciation and support of your roadmap for the future we want and the United Nations we need. Building on the earlier Savannah Center for Diplomacy, Democracy and Development in Abuja and Stimson Center in uh, Washington, D.C. supported UN 75 Africa consultation this past April and May. During UN 70 in 2015, I was honored to serve alongside my friend and long-term collaborator, Secretary Madeleine Albright, as co-chair of the Commission on Global Security, Justice, and Governance. At the time of the Commission's report, entitled Confronting the Crisis of Global Governance, the headlines and the trend lines foreshadowed the return of a virulent form of nationalism fueled by surging migration, perceived and real economic inequality, and the emergence of leaders who attempt to dehumanize others and seek to divide rather than unite. In the months that followed, the international community did rally around one of the defining issues of our time. But the Paris Agreement, sadly, on climate change is largely non-binding. Moreover, policy pledges made since then are falling short of the global climate needs. Regrettably, the violent conflicts and environmental crises were documented in our commission report have only grown more acute with each passing year. With the onset of COVID-19 pandemic earlier this year, the World Bank estimates a 5.2% contraction in 2020 in global GDP, ushering in a financial and economic crisis far greater than that in 2008 and 2009. The international institution built since 1945 to help nations manage and resolve their problems peacefully and together have been weakened to a degree not since, since their founding. Yet, dealing with global issues call for policies and actions beyond rates or capabilities of any one state. To galvanize action towards the goal of improving multilateral responses to today's most pressing global problems, I'm delighted to serve as an honorary co-chair of the UN 75 Global Governance Forum. A few days prior to the General Assembly's high-level commemoration of the 75th anniversary of our United Nations, I'm further pleased to lend my full support to the forum's roadmap for the future we want and the United Nations we need as a contribution to realizing the ideals and practical goals of the UN 75 political declaration. Having defended my country's foreign policy as a former permanent representative of, to the United Nations in New York of the Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs as the country's, my country's foreign minister, I know from experience the need for original ideas prevalent in this vision 2020 for the UN 75 and beyond report to move complex multilateral negotiations to positive sum outcomes that strike a balance between local national and global interests. I also appreciate that the roadmap places human rights, human solidarity, and the need for strong civic ethics at the heart of an inclusive conception of governance across borders. It takes an unapologetic stand against the rise of exclusive and exclusionary nationalism which corrodes, corrodes efforts to upgrade essential structures 
uh, of international order in order to better manage today's and tomorrow's global problems and challenges. The roadmap for the future we want and the UN we need leverages this year's milestone of, for, of, for the world body in order to revisit, to reaffirm his role in that order. By unequivocally endorsing the UN 75 political declaration and working in partnership with diverse progressive organizations to realize its full potential, we'll be taking very essential steps to ensure that the future we want for this and future generations becomes the future we get. Thank you.